well I'm here um, pretty far out in Georgia today and uh, I googled a map in this one particular town I'm in and I thought I saw a dump and lo and behold I did it's pretty big and they threw look like they threw everything in here plus this kitchen sink I haven't explored it I just got into it so what I'm gonna do is walk around see what I could find and uh, get back to you when I find something interesting bye well, to keep you updated the place is massive it's so big I haven't found the end of it yet it's deep and it goes on and on and on most of it looks like 19 late 1940s 1950s we got this one painted knee height don't look too bad I don't know if I'm gonna keep that wood but yeah that's there's potential here I just got to find where it's at so that's a little update we'll talk to you in a little bit if you collect any kind of soda or anything like that this bottle, little bottle from the 50s, Liberty uh, Beverage, it's, uh, it made, it was a flavoring for soda, so it's typically 40 stuff, so still, still on the lookout. I might get lucky still. There you go. Well, here's a, a Sunrise Soda. Don't look too bad. It's, the words are a little bad, but the uh, back looks okay. I might take this one, considering I'm not finding anything in one piece, especially Cokes, which is the main reason I came out here. So, we got a sunrise. Look to do, but hey, I'm not complaining. At least I found something. Good. Well, this is the extent of what I just dug up. Unlike my suspicions are correct, this was a late 50s dump, and uh, it really showed because I couldn't find anything I really needed. So I'm going off to maybe some other area here that looks, I might find something older. If not, well, we'll see you down the road. Here we go. Well, I'm in another place now, and... Uh, you can see I'm finding garbage, and garbage is everywhere, but they're metal plates. But I haven't found anything to my satisfaction. I'm going to look around a little bit, but if not, I find anything, I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Well, this is a little fast roundup of uh, where I was today. Uh, way up there past Effingham County uh, in a town uh, that's been around for a long time um, uh, Sylvania I'm near Sylvania um, they had a dump that I had googled on Google Earth and I thought well that looks like there's a dump there and I actually went and checked it out and sure enough the dump was there unfortunately though uh, although um, it looked like it went back to at least uh, the 1950s. Um, getting into it was pretty hard. Uh, a lot of woods, a lot of vines, jumping creeks, all this kind of stuff. And then I get there and it's so massive, it's so big. <laughs> I didn't know where to start. Um, I mean, literally, I should have shown you that there were cars, buses, uh, anything that had wheels, motors, I mean, everything was thrown in that. There was no law against what you could throw in uh, open dumps in those days. Um, but it seemed to me that they probably went to about 1960, uh, at least. And this makes the point that, uh, that I had had... Uh, spoken about before it's going to be impossible to find a dump to actually dig in 
beyond this time period. After after that, it's not only been regulated and uh, uh, built in such a way that you can't get into it, but just the fact that the massive amount of garbage and trash thrown uh, in these dumps are just, uh, to me, mind-boggling. I just skimmed the surface. I mean, I found a sunrise from looks like the 50 late 50s 60s there's no date really on this thing i mean there's probably something in the bottom and if i really look hard maybe i might find it but you know it does say drink with pleasure uh sunrise beverages and it was pretty well known all in the area a little restaurant creamer now this looks like it was in the burned area i did dig a few test holes and as you go down about two feet you start hitting uh burned ash like they probably had an incinerator and uh this survived it of course you can see it's burned it's flash burned and but it was down in that ash layer and this is a restaurant creamer and like i said these are i collect these because they're part of the uh soda trade um it is liberty brands and it is a uh i said it i think it's craft of i can't even read it it's it's a base uh to make soda yeah soda water it's a it's a flavoring extract and uh, this is what you would use this for you want to make a soda, you use this Liberty brand soda uh, flavoring extract. So it's part of that genre, and it's a typical from the 50s, uh, mid-50s. So that's it. I might go back there someday. It's a drive for me, and I was so beat after driving that long that I really didn't have it in me to, to dig seriously, so... But it was an interesting thing to know that you could Google Earth and actually find um, historical dumps. So there you go. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.